Hello my soccer universe for a quick update from all the Austria Bundesliga only I decided to do it this way around uh, but yeah the Rapid Dragon is slain Lusk win against Rapid for the first time since nine games or something like that feels like an eternity and it's a little bit um how to say um <laughs> <laughs> Ironic that exactly the coach that caused us so much trouble is now our coach and he beat Rapid. Although again, and I totally agree with him, he said, this is not about me, it's about the game. Um, and yeah, Lask stayed top of the league and it was overall a pretty good performance. But there were some other interesting developments in the Austrian league uh that i want to also briefly touch on so why don't we just move in uh we see here here the results austria klagenfurt uh get uh their first win of the season against reed austria vienna 2-1 over tirol meaning that for the first time this season they don't have negative points yeah Good on you guys. Good on you guys. Now, uh, in all seriousness, it was something needed. They, uh, they were in deep trouble, uh, to get going. And then late in the evening, Sturm Graz, uh, who had just been eliminated by Dinamo Kiev in the Champions League earlier this week and, uh, Champions League qualification. And I have a video in mind that I should make, uh, reviewing and previewing all the European action that has been happening because I've been following it, not closely, but I've been following it. So, uh, it might be worth to, to shoot an extra video, but that would come tomorrow after a potential Serie A video. So, uh, it, it's just what my, uh, thought process is at this very moment. In any case, uh, Sturm Graz got eliminated, but they come back against Alltag, who, you know, re re they just came off their, uh, uh, a miracle vic 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 victory they were completely flattened by Sturm uh, who at this moment I would still say are just about the second best team in the league uh, they they are re they are really 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 good team and so the 4-0 is not a surprise uh, but you know still you uh, after that uh, this disappointment you have had to come back it was Hoylund uh, in the in the first half uh, and then Omega scores two and Wells gets another one um, at this point, Sturm were top off of the league, which in a way bugged me because the big last Rapid game was kind of built. This is first against second. And that's just because it's a Sunday and not on Saturday. Technically, it was second against third at that point. It, there's just something not right about this. <laughs> Ahead of the weekend, this was first against second. Just because another team played earlier, should have take this moniker off it. I understand. Technically, at this point, it's not first against second, second against third, but uh, it just annoys me at this point that uh, that you know the big billing goes away. It didn't really matter all that much. It just uh, it's um, you know <laughs> pedantic point from my point point of view. Uh, probably the oddest game the entire weekend was uh, Austria Lustenau uh, playing against Hartberg. You see a very, very clear scoreline here. However, for the first 40 minutes or so, Hartberg in playing in uh, relatively uh, luminous pink uh, jerseys. And yes, I'm working on an Austria Bundesliga review that uh, should, you know, uh, I want to start September with the jersey re re reviews. Complete dominated game, took the lead through a well-deserved penalty, had chances, should have led probably by two to three goals. And then with the first chance, Teixeira uh, from a corporation partner, Clermont Ferrand, which is very into it, in it, in it for me, scores the, e, the equal and just before the half, Anderson makes it 2-1, completely out of nowhere. And then they completely lose, 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 lose track of it, of the game. Uh, throw it, throw it away. Friedrichus, uh, makes it 3 minus 67th. They had more chances. They could have pulled it back, but, uh, Luz, Luz now wins it in the end 4 1. Then, of course, next on the menu is Lask against the Rapid. Um, as I said, the nominal big game. Um, it was, um, it was in a way a weird game, uh, from the get go because, uh, and I didn't mention, uh, mention this last, uh, week the long time support uh, and you know financial services support and now uh vice president and even honorary president uh helmut oberndorf uh, had passed away um you know um, a bit more than a week ago 
and he was kind of behind uh, the resurgence, but and, you know, never in the foreground, always in, in, in the background, even when Lasko was really, really bad. His logo was plastered all over. It was always, he was uh, one of the best supporters of Lasko, and his big project was, of course, getting, getting the new stadium ready. That he passed away before the stadium gets ready is a, a little cruel twist of fate. In his honor, Lusk made special jerseys. I mean, it's the away jersey, uh, the in black and gray, but stripped it of all the sponsors and just said, uh, you know, just Lusk logo and uh, Upper Austria logo and um, the Bundesliga logo. So no, no, not even manufactured. So it was a really just blank in dark. And it says, uh, Danke Haley, which is thank you, thank you, Helmut Haley, uh, for every, 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 everything. And then, uh, before the, before the game, they didn't have a minute of silence. They were just standing there. The president was, uh, reading a eulogy and then basically said, you know, um, given how important he was for the club, um, a minute of silence was just not, not enough. We're going to play, we're going to think about him for an entire match playing that way. So uh, that was rather re re remarkable. I'm, I'm sure that these jerseys will become veritable collector's items uh, now because they're, of course, not commercially available. Okay. It's one of the biggest rivalries at the moment in Austria. Uh, the stadium was full. Uh, there's always a lot of support coming from Rapid, of course, as well. The game, however... Um, Rapid, who had to play overtime in the Conference League qualification against Nefci Baku, uh, they made eight switches and that kind of devalued almost the game a little bit for me because at that point, it, to me, it was clear. Lask was in good form and completely dominated the first half. However, I would have liked that this happens against a, uh, you know, much better suited uh, squad. Yes, it was nice that we, uh, that we dominated them. Uh, and I think the repeat squad is deep enough and three points is always very, very important. But it, it was kind of a little bit of a sour taste because I knew, um, we should win this one. I actually thought we should win this by a lot. Really, by a lot to really, uh, um, ram it home. And to be honest, they should have led by probably more than two goals at the half. Last completely dominated repeat. Uh, the chances they had over there. I mean, um, the com, com, com combinations going on forward were really, really good. Ljubicic this time more, uh, in the role of assisting, you know, uh, the Trident, Ljubicic, Nakamura, Goiginger playing off each other. Ljubicic being the fall for the focal point, but, uh, dropping off, off the ball was really, really well played. And one of the already in the 10th minute, um, second attack. Uh, ball account comes out, Renner put, put, puts in, then the repeat defense is completely uncertain, going and just from a meter out into an M, 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 makes it 1-0. Uh, creating more chances, repeat didn't have any chances. Um, the, uh, what I didn't like is that Horvat had to come, come off, so Robert Schul came, came, came on. He had a big seater there that he missed. I think Nakamura had a big chance that he missed. Uh, but in, in the end, a brilliantly played goal by Liu, which is Nakamura making the run outside of the defender across, um, past the goalie and into the net. 2-0. At that point, uh, there was no question who's going to win this game. However, what I do not like, so uh, in that sense, it was a really, really positive performance. But what I would have liked to see is that uh, they would play the, this way the second half as well. There seems to be a, a rapid put in Burgstaller, put in Kuhn, you know, made some change changes. But what I did not, I think Coach Kuban, that's why, while everything's at this moment, it's still positive and there's a good energy in, in, in there. I have, I have the feeling I saw this with uh, coach, coach Kripa already at, at, at repeat. When you have a clear lead, he's then holding back. And I think I would like to, them to play forward more, continue, not let the, uh, let an opponent that was dead back into the game. This is my only complaint at this moment. Um, and uh, the first few 50 minutes, I mean, repeat had a few chances, nothing big. Uh, but you know, if there, there's the odd ball, then it goes in and suddenly, uh, the game might get tighter. Then after the 60th, I still think at last should have made the third, third goal. Uh, there was only one clear chance, but on the other side, there were a few, um, situations. If you played nicer, you could have made a third, a, a third one. So it actually really ballpark me then with the last shot of Gegrul scores the goal. Uh, it was not, it ended right there, the game. 
but uh, that kind of bugged me. You know, I should be really, really happy with that, and I am. But I see it. I see signs that it could get better even. However, I think at this moment Lask has a really good and deep squad. Uh, the signs are so much different from the last season. They have, I think, especially the way they play in the first half, they have a clear idea of how to, how to play. They have good players. All players are in, in form. So everything is up. I just wish that they would play for 90 minutes full. I just wish that they would have beaten a rapid uh, that was uh, in a bit better strength. That would have makes would make things even even sweeter. However, winning it, great. Uh, in the last game of the, uh, the the round, uh, Salzburg beat Wolfsburg 2-1. Didn't come as a surprise. Similar to the last uh, 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 Salzburg um Fairly dom dom dominated the first half uh, through Pavlovic and Sheshko, Gale getting two two goals, then uh, backing a little a little bit off and Wiesinger again in ninety third minute like at at, at last last goal puts one one back to make a score as a little bit more pal pal pal. But uh, Salzburg slowly finding finding a footing. It's a much much slower start for Salzburg this time around. Now, if you look at the current standings, uh, we see that uh, Lask is now first, Salzburg sex is second, we have Sturmgras third, uh, Lustenau, promoted team, going up. So uh, that's rather, rather remarkable. And Wolfsburg and Austria on the bottom of, 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 the, of the league is still kind of a weird sight. Um, we see also on the part of the adjusted standings that uh, you see that the, the difference bar that Lask uh, really is at this moment overperforming their own expectations, uh, which is something nice to see. Um, if we look now at expected, it also means uh, again last pause positive. We move uh, expecting second uh, place. However, a for for the final is still the Sturm Graz is just ahead, and uh, it's still Salz. It's all Salzburg. Uh, what I find interesting is Austria Lusna would make it in the top six, which is not unheard of. Promoted teams have been doing well uh, in Austria as of of late, and especially with Austria Wien having the three point deficit. That actually might work in their favor. Now, um, I have been talking a lot about Lask and Sturm, their meeting this weekend. And now it's not first against second, it is um, first against third at this moment. However, Salzburg plays earlier, so at this point, Salzburg might so We have again second against third uh, goal figure. We have Wolfsburg, Austria, Wien, a big duel. On the bottom of the table, uh, it's weird. And then, of course, the big Darby in fallback. So it's a really good round come, coming up. I also, um, uh, Lask will also play then the round after uh, a late game. So it, uh, And then we have Rapid against Sturm, which is probably the, the most atmospheric uh, game in Austria overall. So I wanted to give it a full uh, there. And we also have, I did not do it last time, we also have the uh, second cup round now. The fixtures are... Slow, so, so, so slow in a few teams like Lask, who were drawn for first home. A third league team can apply for playing the game at home, which Imst, of course, did. So we have here the matches. I think um, it looks bigger than it is, but Sturm Graz against Austria Salzburg uh, sounds rather in, 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 interesting, of course. Uh, this is not the old Austria Salzburg because this, that went into Red Bull, but uh, Red Bull doesn't recognize the history. So basically, the history is with this newly founded Austria Salzburg, so just uh, for uh, completeness there. So yeah, that was it from me from the Austrian League. I'm going to do probably also, also Austrian League. Uh, I want to do it probably every week and then add German Bundesliga as I see fit. In any case, please give me a thumbs up. Enjoyed this video, drop a line below uh, if you uh, enjoyed or you want to know more about the Austrian League and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!